You can Pascal's triangle. We have a couple more examples here. Uh, notice the degree is now 4. All right, so our first term is our 2x. So remember that's 2x raised to the fourth. And your next term is your y. And I want you to go ahead and ignore that subtraction sign for right now. Oh, I forgot to put my placeholder in. And then y to the 0. And now what happens when you have a subtraction? Our last two examples are both additions. Plus symbol, plus symbol. So throughout the entire polynomial, everything was addition. This is not the case now when you have a subtraction sign. What it's going to do is going to switch signs. Every other term is going to go from a positive to a negative, positive to a negative. So I'm going to go ahead and start. get rid of that equals. The first one's going to be a positive. Now the next one's going to be a negative. Put our placeholder, 2x. Now we're going to drop a degree and increase a degree. Now since we just uh, stopped with a minus, now we're going to go back to a plus. Placeholder for Pascal's triangle. Drop a degree, increase a degree. Now we've just been to the plus, go back to a minus. Placeholder for Pascal's triangle, drop a degree, increase a degree. Last one, had a minus, now we're back to a plus. Placeholder, drop a degree, increase a degree. You'll always know you're at the very end when this first case, that placeholder is a zero. All right, now let's go ahead and probably you pick our Pascal's triangle row, which is right here. There's all of our coefficients. There's five of them. Go ahead and put those in. One, four, six, four, one. The correct order of Pascal's triangle. All right, now we have some simplifying. So it's positive one. Now be careful. This is saying two raised to the fourth. So that's saying 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. Then we have x to the 4th. Now anything to the 0, we talked about already, that's just a 1. And then minus 4, 2 raised to the 3rd is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. x cubed, and then y to the 1st. Okay, so the next one, plus 6. 2 to the second is 4, x squared, y squared. I'll head down here. Minus 4 times 2x to the first is this 2x, and then y cubed, y cubed, plus 1. Anything raised to the zero power, so that whole thing raised to the zero power is one, and then y to the fourth. All right, get down there. So now we have one times 16 times one. You always take your coefficients, and then it's x to the fourth. Negative four times eight times one is negative 32. Now we have an x cubed and a y x cubed and a y. 6 times 4 times 1 is 24. x squared, y squared. Next one, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. x, y cubed. Last one, 1 times 1 is 1, y to the fourth. 